Welcome back to another video everyone. So, as you can see, most of the floor has been laid, apart from around the edges where it's very difficult and complicated to cut, but I'm doing my very best. Measure twice, cut once. Um, all of the doors have been painted as well. They've all had four coats um, with a roller as well, so they've got a really nice finish. A lot of you suggested to use a roller. So yeah, I've got to finish the floor. Uh, so I'm going to try and do it this weekend. Monday we're painting the insides of the three windows here. That'll be good. That'll make a big difference. Um, and I've got to just finish here where I did a few repairs and here as well. I don't have any paint at the moment for that because the paint supplier has been closed all week um, because they're on holiday. As soon as this room is completely done and painted and everything's finished, we're going to be starting in the kitchen. Um, this isn't going to be like a proper full functioning kitchen. It will literally be a fridge, a microwave and somewhere to make coffee. Um, so I'll just show you that now. I absolutely love this room. Um, for one reason is the view of the local church and it's quite a quiet area. Um, the back of the building here. There's no main road or anything, so it's really, really nice. Um, so this is going to be just a small kitchen. Um, there will be a microwave, a sink, and a coffee machine and a fridge. Um, so it's not gonna be a fully functioning kitchen. It's just going to be, you know, pretty basic. I'm gonna remove this radiator. Um, so yeah, what's also great about this room is that this door locks. Um, I've taken the lock mechanism out while we painted the door, but because the CCTV system um, is constantly recording to that hard drive, so if there is ever break-in um, and that is taken, there's not really any proof that they were there. Um, so that has to remain locked away. There's not much more to do now in this big room. Um, a bit of painting, finish off the flooring, um, and loads of cutting in and small details and then um, putting all the skirting boards back on and it will look absolutely amazing and fantastic. Um, hoping on Monday we can start painting the insides of the windows. Um, they're gonna be black like the doors. So yeah, it's coming on really, really well. Um, some of you will be happy to see that I don't have a bag for the keys any longer. I've got this. Um, key safe, let me just put the code in. Look at that everyone. So I've just got to label some of the keys. Uh, these are all of the convent ones. That is the key for the main door. Yeah, so there's lots of space for keys. Brilliant. So that is better than a bag, isn't it? Um, also, all of the electrics have been updated. Um, we're just waiting for a new block de secour. secour. So this is um, basically a switch to test the emergency lighting. Um, the interrupter sectionaire is gonna be changed. That's basically a main switch. Um, and we're gonna have a timer for the hot water and something else, a small relay. And then it's gonna be completely done. So that's fantastic. Uh, the fire alarm. We're not sure about this yet. It needs testing. And I think all of the fire alarm sensors need changing. So all of the ceiling is now done, even down the corridor. We removed all of those old ceiling tiles and now they've all been changed with new acoustic insulating ones. So they will retain the heat better, I think. I haven't talked about this since we discovered it. Um, a lot of people suggested to remove the entire wall. Um, I'm definitely going to remove these sections. Um, just to make it a little bit wider and easier to work with. Um, I don't think removing the entire wall is a great idea because there's probably only about two to three inches of um, stud work. Um, what's also very interesting is that we're directly below the spire, the bell tower. Um, so there could have possibly been at some point even um, a bit of rope coming down to ring the bell, I'm not sure. But yeah, this is going to be a great office. 
we've still got a lot of flooring left over. Um, these small toilet rooms are going to be removed. Um, yeah, they don't need to be here. Let's talk about this fireplace quickly. Everyone said in the comments that it looks way too shallow and the back isn't original. Well, the back's original. It's all granite. It's just been repointed with this cement that looks horrendous. There could also possibly be another fireplace behind it. Um, I'm not sure. Um, a lot of people said also to try and keep this beautiful bookcase. Um, but sadly, its days are numbered. It's all mouldy and rotten in places. Um, there is some good oak on the front of it, but to me it just looks like a 1970s French kitchen. Um, so I'm not going to reuse it. Um, I will reuse wood for projects and things, but um, no, not going to reuse it as a bookcase again. We'll just have a look quickly and see if there is a possibility of another fireplace. So you can see its thickness there. Hmm. I would say the fireplace probably comes to about there on that wall, which means that there probably isn't one, or at least there may have been one that's been removed. This is all stud wall. said last week not this week I actually meant this week so I'm going to expose the second fireplace in the convent's original kitchen um, I've brought in some heavy machinery I've got the Hitachi breaker 110 volt um, transformer and the EcoFlow Delta Pro unlike last week's job this isn't going to be fast or easy, so let's crack on.
So I am stood within the fireplace inside of it. Um, I managed to make a hole big enough to get inside. It's absolutely amazing in here. You can see most of the way up the chimney breast. Yeah, it's really, really interesting. Um, it's quite a large gap and by large it's big enough for me to get in so <laughs> yeah it's quite a big fireplace um, it's about as deep as the other one that we discovered last week but yeah let's go out so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to remove just a bit more and then we can see a little bit more clearly inside hopefully with a bit of daylight all right let's crack on Right, I've just managed to clear almost half of it. So let's have a look inside. Wow. So you can see the uh, concrete wall that they've put in. You can see these large hooks at the back. There's three of them. Wow. Pretty amazing. You can see um, a metal flue, which was for the extractor that we took off. Yeah, pretty, pretty interesting. Anything up here? Just an old bag. Stuff. Nothing interesting. So thank you everyone for watching this week's video. I am absolutely exhausted. It's taken me about six hours today to do less than half of that. Um, so next week, what I'm gonna do is with Steve and Rick, we're gonna finish it off and we can do the big reveal. And then we've also got to do a lot more work in the production office. So thank you everyone for watching this week's video and I'll see you all next Sunday.